everyone welcome back y'all have been asking for this tutorial since 2018 and now i'm finally here to show you how i did it starting off barefaced and no i am not naked i'm looking at a reference of my older pumpkin look and just sketching out a rough guideline of the pumpkin side with brown eyeshadow kind of hard to explain but I'm sketching out the jagged edges that protrude onto the normal side starting at my hairline and continuing over my nose circling right around my smile line and then taking that all the way over to my ear adding a triangle over my eye and eyebrow area try and incorporate as many sharp edges in this look as possible since we are a little pumpkin so it makes more sense Adding a little nose, kind of in the shape of a teardrop mixed with the energy sword from Hello. I don't know why that's the first thing that came to my head, but it makes sense. Sketching out the mouth, I was gonna say that these were in the shape of zigzags, but I searched it up and apparently they're called scallop lines. So I'm drawing those on more wide and spread apart near my lips, and then getting smaller the closer I get to my cheekbones when connecting them. Extending the other side of the mouth just to where the pumpkin line cuts off, so like the middle of the cheek. Quickly extending some lines from the mouth to the chin as well as my nose, and then some more from the top of the pumpkin all the way down to my jaw, connecting with my eye and mouth area. Now extending the pumpkin side to my neck and chest, creating the same scallop lines and connecting them to my face with a couple vertical lines as well. I'm so sorry if that was confusing, I tried my best to explain it all. Now let's get into painting. Starting off with orange body paint as a base color for the whole pumpkin side. Don't worry if it covers up some of the lines we sketched out before, we're going to be going back over those. Jumping over to the other side real quick and applying some white cream paint. Blending that in with a beauty sponge. Adding some to my chest as well. And then setting it all with loose setting powder. Using a red orange shadow, I'm shading closest to the lines we sketched out earlier. Are you scared? <laughs> I am you. I added yellow body paint on top as a highlight, however, I didn't think it looked bright enough. So instead, I'm applying white cream paint on top to all the areas that were not previously shaded. Blending it in with a beauty sponge. And then setting it all with yellow eyeshadow. Off camera, I went over all the lines we created in the beginning, just to make them more visible, and started using black eyeshadow to darken the shading near the edges, but decided to switch over to that red orange again since we lost that one highlighting. I'm coming closer. 
Like I've said before, shading and highlighting is so important. A lot of the time it means going back and forth between the two until it looks right. Now with black eyeliner, you can use body paint if you want. I'm outlining everything. Every little line we drew before. Now adding shading with black eyeshadow surrounding the eye, leaving a little space for highlighting later on. Are you of the dark? Then with the same shadow I'm darkening the shading on both sides of the vertical lines on my face, as well as darkening the very edges of the pumpkin. With the same shadow and technique I'm bringing it down to my neck and chest. Repeating the same process for the mouth portion, adding a shadow underneath each scalp line. As you can tell, there's a lot of shading in this tutorial. <laughs> adding some more shading. Yes, there is more. But this time on the normal side, just along the edges of the pumpkin to give more depth. Again, same thing on the chest. Filling in the eye and mouth with black body paint. Once again with the same paint, I'm darkening the shading at the very edges. Quickly filling in the nose. Then outlining all the vertical lines with body paint. the other side, I'm quickly drawing on my eyebrow. You can create whatever eye look you want on this side, but I'm creating an orange and black smoky eyeliner. For this, pack on a black eyeshadow to the outer corner, lightly blending out. Then pack and blend an orange shadow on top. 
going back and forth between packing and blending the black and orange until it looks good. Then finishing off the lid with black eyeliner. Also adding the same shadows just below the lower lash line. And continuing that liner to the inner corner. With black body paint, I'm adding little squiggly lines to the edges of the pumpkin side. With white body paint, I'm adding highlights in between all of the shading done earlier and randomly beside some of the vertical lines. With black body paint, I'm adding some random spots and splotches along the pumpkin side. <laughs> Quickly applying some highlighter to both sides. Pop in some black contacts. I add them to both sides because I thought it looked cute, but you don't have to. Apply top and bottom lashes to the normal side. And you're done. So it's the finished look. I know it was a long one, but I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to hit that like button because it helps me out a lot. Also, I'm very curious. Have you been waiting for this tutorial? I know a lot of people have, so let me know down in the comments down below if you're one of them. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming spooky looks. And I'll see you on the next one. Yeah.